My name is Laurel Hopwood. I'm a registered nurse and I'm a mother. And I'm a person that's concerned about children's health. I've been reading more and more studies that connect the dots that exposure to these lawn chemicals can increase the risk of things like cancer, Parkinson's, learning disorders, attention deficit. And, you know, it's a risky world. I mean, you have to breathe the air, you gotta drink the water, but this is a, a, a choice that a family can make not to expose their children to risky chemicals. Um, so to me, it's a no-brainer. As a nurse and as a mother, I would say no to these. What's of interest is when a child who's the most vulnerable because their body systems are developing, when they are exposed, they get these cumulative, repeated, over and over exposures. And you don't see Johnny kicking over dead, so you wonder, well, what's the problem? But the problem is there are changes at the cellular level, which you're not seeing with the human eye, but down the line, decades later, when it's hard to connect cause and effect, you can see Parkinson's or learning disorders. And is it worth it? I, I say no. And what's What's the new baby on the block is what's called window of vulnerability, and that's even a one-time exposure, a one-time exposure that a child can develop changes at the cellular level, which can years later cause them great harm. That's irreversible. It's not worth it. And what I find intriguing is how is it that cows are mandated that they have to stay off this property that's treated with these poisons for seven days, but a child only has to stay off for one day. This doesn't make any sense. I volunteer at the national level of Sierra Club and I represent the club on the issue of colony collapse disorder where there's a major loss of honeybees. And people think of honeybees just as producing honey and yes they do that, but the big um, uh, job that honeybees do is they're, they're, uh, one third of our food supply is because of the work of honeybees. And there are many studies linking pesticides with the demise of the honeybee. So you kill the, um, the you, put, you apply the pesticides, you're killing your food supply.